hidden caches can spawn every single item in the game, whether it be rare items or items you need for Kappa, or maybe just ammos and things in between. There are actually 23 of them spread all across customs, so following the map, which I'll link down below, we're going to be finding every single one of them, so stick around and enjoy. Once again, guys, if you're not 100% familiar with customs, there will be a map down in the bottom here, but we're going to be starting off at ZB11, one of the main extracts here at customs. We're going to be walking straight into the back corner where this bush can be found, and just underneath is a cache here. It's going to be the wooden trapdoor type. So there's two types of caches here. One is going to be like a barrel type, and the other one's going to be a wooden trapdoor covered in grass. Near this pipe nearby to ZB11 is another cache here, which can be found under the pipe. Heading away from here and towards the admin gate extract for player scavs, we're going to be heading past this little gypsy wagon here. And in the back corner at the very last tree next to the gate is going to be another hidden cache. Heading away from here towards military checkpoint, following the hole in the wall, we're going to chuck a left here and then hug the wall. Once you're hugging the wall, we're going to be heading all the way along to the last bush here, closest towards the military checkpoint. And inside of it is going to be another hidden stash. So be careful, guys. If you're not sure where this is, you can just walk over them. If you hear wood, that's a good indicator. As always, guys, I stream five days a week on Twitch. If you have any questions about any of the videos or you simply want to know absolutely anything, feel free to ask me any questions you may have. I'm going to be heading past railway to military base here. And behind this little dumpster is going to be another hidden cache. This is a decent one here, but we're going to be heading away from here towards the power pole up on the top here you can see it in front of me here and we're going to chuck a left towards a dirt track now this one could be a little bit difficult to find but if you follow these steps it's quite easy you're going to have to find this little hidden track and then you're going to follow it all the way along until you see a flat rock here this flat rock next to the tree you're going to face the opposite direction to the way that the cliff is facing so you're going to be looking past this large rock towards two skinny trees You'll be running past the first skinny tree and next to the other one is going to be the next hidden cache. All right, so we're going to be heading back towards the little road heading up towards the power here. And we're going to be heading up towards this gypsy wagon straight ahead. Next to the fence on the right hand side of it is going to be a tree. And next to this tree underneath the bush is another hidden cache. Once you finish this one, if you continue to run the way that I'm running right now, run all the way up past this next little little trail here that I call kangaroo track here in Australia. But we're going to be running past here towards the next one, which is going to be a hidden little trap door, which can be found underneath a bush next to it, another skinny tree here. So once we finish this one, we're going to be heading towards one of a more common spawn on customs. And this little ridge spawn is quite dangerous around this area, so I wouldn't recommend rushing it. This next one is a bit of an overlooked one, or sometimes people try to get it, but they're not sure how. We'll be running underneath this power pole here and past the fence, sort of seemingly out of the way, is another one. This one can be quite difficult to access at times. So make sure you just shimmy around and try and get the search option. Let's head down towards the gas station here. So we're going to be heading away from customs here, and we're going to be heading all the way up to the fence divider to get into Beyond Gas or the gas station here. Once again, we're going to be finding it here where you can see Beyond Gas in front of me. And once again, is a hidden cache. We're going to be jumping through the fence here in front of the new gas station. Um, this is where Rochelle likes to hang out, so be careful. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. I'm going to be working on more of these for more maps, and you won't want to miss them in future. But heading past the Goshan bus here at the back of new gas, we're going to be jumping this pipe. And inside this bush here is going to be another hidden cache. Right, so heading away from here, we're going to be jumping on top of this pipe and then jumping on top of the barrel to get over the wall. Now, you don't have to do it in this order. Obviously, you can use the factory exit key, but we're going to be heading past the Paradigm triple stack here on my left-hand side, and we're going to be heading past Water Warehouse here into a pit, and next to these barrels is going to be the next hidden cache. All right, so heading away from here, we're going to be going towards the new area of customs, and this next cache that I'm about to show you is actually the one that got added with 12.7. We're going to be heading into the old gas station. Now, we're going to be heading away from warehouse 4 here into the back corner of old gas station, jumping the blue fence into the very back corner past the giving tree here. And we're going to be finding the next and newest stash here. 
following the wall. We're going to be going through the little gap here in the fence. And we'll be hugging the wall here towards the no-go zone. Once again, guys, we're going to be running all the way past the boundary of the new customs area. Now, a few things to be careful for. But the first one is this little bush here just before the sign is the one where you're going to find the newest hidden cache. Once again, a warning, however, there is a dead scav, which you can search if you can see him right there. If you actually head past this scav, you will get shot at by an invisible sniper who will kill you in two shots, regardless of what armor you're wearing. So be 100% careful when going around this area. But if you line yourself up with the tree here in the pole from the first stash here and run diagonally, you're going to run into the next stash here, which can be found between these bushes. All right, so now you're going to line yourself up with Rashala's Sex Den or RSD here on your right hand side and continue to run with it on your right hand side. We're going to be heading towards the trains in the newest area here and we're going to be looking for a train with some pipes on it. If you're not sure where we are, just above me there is the sniper scav location where he likes to sit and you're going to find this train carriage here with the pipes on it. As soon as you find this one, you're going to go prone and climb underneath the concrete bridge and there is your next stash. You can actually access this from both sides. You don't have to come to this side to access this stash. All right, so we're going to be heading away from here, guys. And on my right hand side is obviously the new area of customs, but we're going to be heading towards Elbow Knight. Now, this building is a seemingly useless building with not a lot of loot, but if you head through it, we're actually going to get our bearings here. On my right hand side is Elbow, and over there is the main and old construction. Inside this tire is going to be the next hidden cache. All right, so we're going to head heading out past the bushes here where you can find the dead scav or unknown key scav. And we're also going to be heading down the embankment past RUAF here. Now you're going to be seeing straight ahead of me is the big red customs. And we're going to be heading underneath this pipe right here is going to be another hidden stash. Now this one can be a little bit difficult to find, but it's the side facing the UN roadblock. Alright, so the pipe actually next to it between the two concrete dividers is a bush. Inside this bush is the next one, which is a trapdoor, and this is where you can find the next stash. Alright, so heading away from here, we're going to actually do a, quite a bit of running here. And we're going to be heading all the way back to three-story dorms. Now, be careful when you're running across this area, guys, as it's actually quite dangerous. Obviously, you wouldn't run this exact path that I'm running, but be careful around Hill 1 and also the construction area when searching this stash. But once again, for reference, on my left-hand side is the three-story dorms and on the right, two-story. We're going to be heading towards this open blue container and inside in the back right corner is another hidden stash. All right, so after searching this one, we're going to be heading past the bus station here on my right-hand side. Following with the wall on my right-hand side, we're going to be running back towards the train station here. So what I want you guys to realize is there's a little lip here on the corner and you can line yourself up with the edge of the corner here and then basically look out to the direction that it's facing. And then when you run diagonally, you're going to see some roots and next to the exposed roots is going to be another hidden stash. All right, so running from here, we're going to be running back towards where we were before and this is going to be the train tracks. So this is a bit of a dangerous area on customs as is most of customs. You're going to be looking for this little power overhead here. So this little power overhead following the pole down, you're going to find the next hidden stash. All right, so now it's time for the last hidden stash of customs. Running away from here back towards the bus station, we're actually going to be running past the pile of rubble. And this one is a very easy to overlook stash and a lot of people don't really loot this one. And it's also incredibly dangerous and exposed, so be careful when searching this one. However, if you run past the piping and look for a pile of tires, inside one of the tires directly under the pipe is the last hidden stash. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching these. It does mean a lot to me. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.